Hello everyone, welcome to Stony Sunday. This is episode number 96, getting ever closer and closer to that epic 100 episode. And let's get to smoking, obviously. Stony Sunday, first on our agenda. It's a fail. Hempwick fail. Sometimes you just put it too close to the flame and it just goes right out. Or you put the flame too close to the weed, I mean. First question for this week, someone wanted to know, have we ever thought about making a Stony Sunday intro or outro? Yes, yes, we definitely have, I mean, given some thought to a Stony Sunday intro or outro. I know Coral did have a pretty sweet outro that someone made for her, and she used for a lot of her videos for a really long time. But it was using copywritten music, so that was a big issue with YouTube, and they would either take down some of the videos or just cut all of the audio. And that's just not something we're trying to deal with. So if someone wants to make us a really awesome intro or outro, it's not using copywritten music, then yeah, maybe we will consider doing something like that. But definitely the biggest concern is copywritten music because YouTube doesn't have anything to do with that. Please take that shit down. I was told not hit. But moving on to the next question. <laughs> Any tips on maintaining your hemp wick? If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what this string is that I'm smoking with, it's known as hemp wick. I am using the brand Humboldt hemp wick right now. It's super organic. I really like the thickness of the string and it just works really well. But my tips for maintaining it. The easiest thing you can do is wrap it around a lighter. It's going to keep it all straight. And then if you want to be super cool, Humboldt Traders actually sells little glass holders where you can put the hemp wick in and then it's got a little cork top with a hole in the center and then the hemp wick comes out the top. So your hands aren't necessarily all over the hemp wick getting whatever germs or dirt you have on that onto your hemp wick and I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier. Can I put my bong in the dishwasher? Yes, I suppose you could put your bong in the dishwasher. The first thing that comes to mind is you're going to want to make sure that it's made out of thick glass. Uh, obviously, it's going to break in the dishwasher if it's a really thin piece of glass or a cheap bong. And it's really just up to you if you want to risk your bong because with dishwashers, they have different cycles and their temperature changes a lot. They can use really scalding hot water and then right after that do a cold rinse and that temperature change could break your glass. I did go online and look at a few different forms of what people were saying. In general, everyone's just suggesting use alcohol or salt if you want to clean your bong. I personally use grunge off as well for my flower pieces. <laughs> really need to clean my bong, I probably will later today. But in general, I would not suggest using the dishwasher. If that's your only method of cleaning the bong, sure, go for it. But the people that did leave comments saying that they did use the dishwasher, they said that dishwasher detergents didn't do that well of a job at getting the actual resin off because it's just not what they're meant to do. Alcohol and salt is obviously the number one recommended thing to use to clean your bong and not a dishwasher. Listen to the name. Dish washer. This is not a dish.
have you ever tried the G pen? And if so, did you like it? Yes, yes, I have tried the G pen brand of oil vaporizing wax pens. I don't know, however you want to describe it. It's just a handheld piece. And I don't know, I'm really torn with these things. There are so many different brands on the market right now. G Pen, I would definitely say, is one of the biggest ones. There's also the Omnicron or the 710 Pen. There is another one, Eureka Vapor. That is actually the one that I kind of liked the most out of all of the different ones that I was looking at. I was really honestly looking into buying one seriously, but because there are so many different ones, and there are just slight differences in between them. It was just really hard to choose. So yes, I liked it. You got nice vapor puffs off of it, but I don't know. My biggest concern was I didn't like the heating element that these pens were using. It's just kind of cheap metal that's heating up your oil and how safe is that or how long is it gonna last is it just gonna be really shitty and break you know like I don't know I was just really hesitant it's hard to do thorough research on so many because there are so many I can I was honestly going in between like at least five that I was seriously considering purchasing oh my god I always do that <sighs> there's nothing in the bowl I haven't repacked really it yet but geez, just, I mean, G Pen in general, yeah, I did like it, but I didn't go out and buy myself one. All right, I got some more green packed in this bowl, and it's perfect timing since the next question is, what are your thoughts while hitting the bomb on Stony Sunday? And this question was asked multiple times because the person obviously really wanted me to answer. It's pretty funny because honestly my main thought that comes through my mind most often when I'm taking bong hits for doing Stony Sunday is mid bong hit I'm thinking and realizing oh shit I was just talking and then directly went to go take the bong hit I didn't really give a good inhale exhale like prepare myself for the bong hit like, how is this going to look on cameras? Am I really taking a bong hit? Like, obviously, earlier in this episode, I kind of did it. With, I'm just like, I'm talking, and then I go down to the bong. But I'm, I'm just not ready to really take a good, solid bong hit. Sometimes you really need that. Otherwise, <laughs> my main thought is just, what am I going to say next? Am I asking a question? Am I answering a question? Just where am I at, pretty much. So that was my last question for this week. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Stony Sunday. And I do have to give a, another little shout out to the shirts. Extra large and double extra large are officially sold out. So the only sizes we have left are small, medium, and large. But I do also have to say it's a really, really small amount of smalls that are left. So I'm wearing a size small right here. If you would like this size, you better hop on that shit because that's going to be definitely the next that's going to sold out, get sold out will be sold out. Yes. Thank you for joining me for another episode. Stay high. I hope you have a great week coming up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.
Hey Reefers, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. You know I've got one hit left here in this bowl. Last week I asked you guys to look back to your, old, your early stoner days and what were those strains that you really looked forward and kind of went out of your way to try because you had heard of them and just needed to try it. For me, that strain was definitely White Widow. It was just definitely one of the main big strains that was going on when I was in high school and first starting to get into smoking. And it was just really exciting because it was like, yeah, I know this strain and it's genetics and it was, oh, it's just exciting. This week's reefer question is, what is the best weedy app for Android or iPhone iPad, whatever, whatever you've got to you guys next week, stay high. And I'm sure there was a ton of background noise going on in this episode. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But this is the reason. It was these two lovely guys. Meet Luke, and this is Leia, and they are my new babies, and I love them so much.